decided to check out. I don't put the goods. Try the. for troublemaker. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Oh, have you seen any? Nothing stops the... We'd best not be seen speaking with each other further. The end you'll need it won't disguise you. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Hope. A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. I've got a little bit of everything. Thanks. See you later. You don't look so tough. Welcome back, sir. Fair. Are you looking at me? What's your beef? Everything looks okay here. There's a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. I'm this the only one willing to fix itself. it. That's my job. What can I do for you? Yes? I told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. Sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. You found him? I can't believe it! You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. So you did. I apologize for entertaining the father, Doug. I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. Farewell. Is everything all right? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Be good to see? I don't know if I like this. I understand it's important to Dr. Lee, but isn't going to Project Purity dangerous? Bye. If you want a gun, you've come to the right place. This is a medical clinic. You don't look hurt. 
Take care of yourself. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here, so just stay out of my way. Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue, and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have lives or anything. The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, and now you're strutting around like you own the place? You shouldn't even be here. Why don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here, don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. Keep your hands to yourself in there. This equipment is fragile. Hey there! I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. Who, me? Oh, uh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. I don't see why not. Between Dr. Lee and your dad, we've got the best minds on the job. They can do just about anything. Yeah, I think we'll be up and running in no time. I'd steer clear of the water if I were you. It's seeping in from the tidal basin, which means it's radioactive. If that's not bad enough, if there are any loose wires as the power comes back on, you might get a bit of a jolt. Know what I mean? Good luck. Yeah? I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now, I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. If Dr. Lee says it will work, then it will be so. Bye. How's it? What can I do for you? Farewell.
here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier, this is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Some people are in such a hurry. Hey there! holding tanks for the water as well as our processing equipment and power systems. The flood control pump is at the south end of this level. I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. 
The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. You need to replace the fuses that shorted out in the flooding. Once they're in, the automatic doors will work and we can reach the mainframe. Be careful, my son. I know there's a lot going on right now. I just wanted to say, I wanted to say that I'm proud of you. You're a good person and it shows. I didn't want you to think I hadn't noticed. You've had to deal with so much. We all have. Once we're done here, you can tell me all about it. For now, let's get to work. Be careful, my son.
just outside the pipe that's been giving us trouble. Don't worry, this isn't dangerous at all. Just get inside and use the manual controls to drain the pipe. That'll break up the debris enough for the filters to function. Now I won't be able to contact you once you're in there. You'll exit near the systems, and then you can get in touch with me again.
the authority of the President, this facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related what to is this project. Now? It's quite impossible. This is a private project. The enclave is no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project. And aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system on. Enough of these delays. It'll only be a few more moments. doing in there. coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. James, your father lost an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us, or else your father died in vain. We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find We need to get there right now. Let's go. We need to escape while we can. Don't wander off. We're going to need you. This tunnel leads to the Citadel, the Brotherhood of Steel's Fortress. We should be safe there, if we can make it. I don't know what's ahead. That's the problem. No one has used these tunnels in years, but we can't stay put. The Enclave will find us eventually. We have to get moving. We need to keep everyone together, and we need to get through this tunnel as quickly as possible. We're not safe until we reach the other side. You should stay close. Are you 
I'm sure I don't want to stay in one place for too long.
is it? Are you sure? What is it? We'll be right... Further, we need to stop. Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment, and then we can continue. Raza here. This will help you to feel better. Once we reach the Citadel, you'll be fine. That takes time.
close. it we'll be right behind you be careful now is not a good time I am feeling better but not well enough to be of use to you I apologize bye
I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need? I can see you're trying to appeal to my good nature. Pity for you I don't have one. I'll give you this one for free. We use our big guns to kill big super mutants, so people like you can sleep at night. Of course, but you'd have to secure the permission of Elder Lions and, well, I just don't see that happening. So move along. Yeah, the city ruins are crawling with them. They've pretty much overrun all of old DC. Do yourself and us a favor and stay as far away from there as humanly possible. Definitely no place for civilians. That's an affirmative. You're clear to enter, but I still don't like it. Or you. Steel be with you. What is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful. and I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison. It'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. He knows what we need. vault tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well. We'll sort this all out. I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. The Brotherhood is at your service. Father, might I have a word with you? Yes, my daughter. What is it? Father, I know that you do not wish to discuss the fate of the outcast, but there are some who say... You may be a sentinel, but you're also my daughter. And I won't throw your life away fighting an enemy we know too little about. I'm sorry, but no. Yes, Father, I understand. You have my apologies. Well, you just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our Keeper of the Scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the Archives. 
You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor, but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission, but you'll need to ask him yourself. I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow, if my father permits it. It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. In my father's name, I bid you farewell. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. Matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy, all in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just beginning. The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. Only in a very broad sense. The Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. Has it been worth the cost in lives and resources to protect people like you from the super mutants? You tell me. I suspect my daughter's squad helped save your life. And most of our recent recruits have come from those we've saved over the years. It's cost us, but we've saved many lives. And made the Capital Wasteland a place where people can live. Yes, I'd say that's been worth it. Yes, let's speak of other things. Hmm, considering the circumstances, I think it would be prudent if you received such training, yes. Speak to Gunny in the Bailey. He will train you in the proper use of power armor. Fear not, I will send word that I have given my approval. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. 
With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. Ah, now, that's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. The Brotherhood began on the west coast. It exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. So be it. Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Hail. So what's the latest report? Beyond the purifier. with your presence. Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of Elder Lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now what may I do to help you? 
I did, and you as well. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. True. And in the end, death claims us all. But how we die can say just as much about our lives as how we lived. Your father died for what he knew to be right, and he died protecting those closest to him. This is a good man's death. But I must ask you a difficult question, if I have your leave to do so. I escorted your father across the wastes. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like to have the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. But there is a problem. I cannot travel with you under the Brotherhood flag, given your current companionship. Perhaps return when you are alone, and I will tell you of your father. Stay strong, my friend. Hmm? Oh yes, hello, I've heard about you. We don't get many strangers here in the Citadel, especially those who walk about unescorted. I am Scribe Bowditch. If you require something, simply ask. Why, a great many things. There are three orders within the Scribes, you see, each dedicated to a different field of study. Of course, there's the Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, and Order of the Quill. The Order of the Sword develops and maintains the Brotherhood's weapons. The Order of the Shield does the same for our power armor and defenses. The Order of the Quill is responsible for recovering and preserving knowledge, ancient and otherwise. I am Proctor of the Order of the Shield. I oversee the others in my order and make sure our defenses are up to snuff. Do you know how long it took to fortify these ruins? From the husk of the Pentagon, I carved a grand citadel. No easy task, my friend. Ah, but that was yesterday, when all we had to worry about was those damn super mutants. The Enclave, now, that's a different problem altogether. Let me know. I suppose that I can. Sporting some pretty impressive power armor, I'll give them that. The advanced Mark II. But that's all right. With a few modifications, our own armor will more than handle anything they throw at it. It's a rather sad story, I'm afraid. Last year, some of our soldiers had grave disagreements with the decisions of Elder Lions. Disagreements spiraled out of control and there was a schism in the ranks. The loyal soldiers practically threw out the dissenters. Now they call themselves the Outcasts. The soldiers rallied behind Paladin Kasdan, who was one of Elder Lion's original squad. They served together for over 20 years. Kasdan was well respected and every bit as loyal to the Brotherhood as Elder Lion's. He just disagreed with the interpretations of our oaths. But when disagreements turned into fistfights, he left with the outcasts. We lost more allies that day than we ever have to any battle. Lions and Kasdan would have to agree to any sort of reconciliation, and that's pretty unlikely. They're both quite proud and stubborn. Me, I just wish there was a way we could all agree that at least we're still on the same side. There are bigger problems out there after all. Where Elder Lyons has fought to protect the people of the Capital Wasteland, the outcasts demanded we move on and leave them to their fates. They insisted there was more important technology to be recovered in a scientific base in the ruins of Fort Independence to the west. As callous as their decision may be, it's more in line with our original mission. Elder Lyons is an inspiration to us, but to them, he's a traitor. As much as some of our soldiers would like to see them shot for deserting, there's not much we can do. We're too busy with the super mutants. Meanwhile, they're busy seeking out new technology and trying to get back in contact with the Brotherhood out west. 
So our paths rarely cross, but it's never pretty when they do. I just hope things cool down before it gets worse. It is a rather discouraging subject, isn't it? They're relentless, like nothing I've ever seen before. I honestly think they see our brothers in power armor as some kind of... canned meal. Some of the... pieces we've had brought back. Men and women ripped in half. Some pulled through their armor. Farewell. I need to collect my wits and figure out what to do next. Excuse me. Yes. And I told you that in order to compensate for last Thursday's mishap, there would be some complications. I'm dealing with it. Rothschild, old friend, you're a brilliant technician. But this old map... May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment? A Gek? <laughs> Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault-Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Need something, friend? The Elders sent word of your arrival. I am Scribe Peabody. Welcome, etc. Now, I'm really very busy. Is there something you needed? Indeed, I can. Pay no heed to those headstrong knights with their pop guns and bravado. It is the scribes, the scribes who make the Brotherhood what it truly is. The brawn is useless without the brain. Hmm? <laughs> Each order of scribes is dedicated to a unique field, all equally important, all more important than those dim-witted grunts. Sword, of course. Weapons, my boy. You name it, I have helped someone kill it. I'm the proctor of the Order of the Sword, you see. Weapons research. Development and maintenance, all my responsibility. Certainly. So they have plasma weapons. Bah! It's strong technology, I'll give you that, but limited in modability. I've already started removing the compensators on our laser weapons to cut through the Black Devil power armor of theirs. We'll drop them like any other meat. Don't you worry. Foul, detestable beasts. They're like an infestation. We cut them down and they return again and again. Always so determined to kill or capture. But why? In the Elder's name.
Quartermaster Durga here, stranger. I have to say, I'm not sure what you're doing in my armory. We run a tight ship, and unless Elder Lion says so, we don't trade with outsiders. Quartermaster out. in a long time. And what would you like for this little surprise? There. 
It's pre- How'd you like it? You've definitely proven your worth. I'll make sure to tell our people on patrol that you're a friend of the outcasts. Bye. Um, I don't think that Paladin Gunny would be very happy if he saw me talking to him outside. Stop a hollow point round at a hundred yards. I'm thinking not. I'm a sniper with the pride. Put any muty bastard within one mile of me and my rifle, and well, pack it up, troops. Fight's over. Coleman thinks he's a better shot. Man's delusional. Remember, one shot, one kill. Yes? No, I don't. What do you want? Spec Ops. Let's leave it at that. And so we part. What? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm just an mission. Hey, what aid can I offer you out? What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources defending the ungrateful residents of this no-man's land. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. And now an enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. What's been going on with you? Of course. What aid can I offer you? Paladin Gunny can train you. You'll need permission from Elder Lion. Of course. Hail. Hail. Name's Greg. Greg Bear. Most of the guys heard about that mess over at the Purifier. Don't you worry. You're safe here. Gallows? He's not a bad guy, truth be told. He just doesn't talk much. And if it ain't soldiering, that boy has no time for it. Tell you what, though, he's the meanest son of a bitch around here. All business. The rest of us, we get our R and R in, not gallows. There's even a betting pool on who can find out his real name. Talk to Blade about it. He'll tell you. 
Now that's a story. The only reason I'm here is because of Elder Lions. You see, I grew up in the pit. Don't suppose you ever been there, huh? It's about 500 clicks to the northwest. Place is a nightmare. Three irradiated rivers coming together. People there were... not well. But the Brotherhood of Steel came down on the place with a righteous hammer. They called it the Scourge. It was a Brotherhood operation. They marched in and swept the place clean. Most of the people there were half-mutated, cancerous, vile things. And these people, great gangs, torture squads, it was pure chaos there. The Scourge is the best thing that could have happened to them. This was way back, before the Citadel was fortified. Part of the early recon after the Brotherhood first arrived in this area. One night, a squad of brothers led by Paladin Lions swept into the city from over Mount Wash, tearing apart anyone who stood against them. They were completely outnumbered. And still, they raised that place to the ground. As they swept through, the Brotherhood policed up every non muty child they could find. Turns out there weren't that many. Me and maybe 20 others. The younger we were, the less of a chance that we were mutated. It was ugly work, no doubt, but it had to be done. I'll never forget the sight of the Brotherhood of Steel, breaching the breast of the mountain at dawn. Elder Lyons brought us all back to the Citadel. He said it was the safest place he knew of. This place was still being converted. He put us in as initiates and kept a watchful eye over us. He was tough, but he taught us to stay alive. The man's like a father to me. Nah, the amazing thing is Elder Lyons. He risked everything. Went in outmanned and outgunned. I'll never be able to thank you enough. So I do my best to serve the Brotherhood. I know that that's what he really wants. In time, I'm sure you'll understand. Stand strong. Child wanted those AMS tests Welcome. done right away, so I went ahead and handled it for you. Scribe Hail. Rothschild wanted. Hail, Outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment, so many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each fallen brother's deeds. Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. They are on our fallen brothers, throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. We have access to a great deal of technology, and because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me, but from time to time, 
I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. Need something, friend? I am Squire Maxon, royal servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I plead for your pardon if my behavior offends you, sir. We don't get many visitors in the Citadel. The brothers and elder lions are excellent teachers, but I get nervous about the protocols. The Codex says that outsiders are not to be trusted. Shield yourself from those not bound to you by steel, but they are the blind. Aid them when you can, but lose not sight of yourself, it says. It's not simply the outsiders that we are wary of. Anybody who has not taken the oath of fraternity is suspicious to us. The Codex says, Fear those who do not pledge to the Brotherhood, for though their eyes may be open through service, they are now blind. But it also tells us, Give way your suspicions to the wisdom of thine elder. Where he shows trust, so shall you. Elder lions trust you, so you are free to stay here. Oh, well, you see, I am descended from the great Roger Maxon, founder of our order. I am the last of his line. They say my soul was forged from eternal steel, but I don't believe that. I'm really just a normal boy. I was sent to the Citadel many years ago to be fostered by Elder Lions. But that was before the Western Elders lost um, faith in the Elder. I really don't know if I'll ever get home, but, well, I kind of like it here. Sentinel Lyons has been very kind to me. She's taught me so much. No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I mean, it would be scary, but it's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, a sentinel lions took me out, just to show me. I killed a super mutant too, I swear. I, uh, I also sort of shot Sarah, but just a little. It was just a flesh wound. Oh yes, I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. But the worst of all? The behemoth! He's a giant! I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So scary. The super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lions doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something, but we're not really sure what that is. May we speak again soon. I offered you. Stay strong. Welcome. Need something, friend? What aid can I offer? Steve. What's the big idea? Need something, friend? There's been another behemoth. Need something, friend? In the Evergreen Mills. You honor us with your presence here. 
Hail.